Welcome to Automate the Boring Stuff, Chapter 4, Part B, Character Picture Grid. This program is going to take a list of lists containing one character strings, like grid, and thinking of grid x and y as being the x and y coordinates, um, this value would be uh, 0, 0 because it's the first list and in the first index. We are going to use these values to print this image using for loops and some if and else statements. So starting off, we're going to want to set this grid value and use a for loop for x in range of 6. 6 being the uh, left to right numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And now inside this for statement, we are also going to want to add another one for y. So we'll do for y in range 9. Again, 9 because there are 9 different lists. So if y is not equal to 8, we will have to print uh, grid y x. And then to allow for uh, each print function to take one, one string character, then print it in a line, we have to make sure that we iterate through all of the first indexes. So these characters of each list. So we want to do uh, 0, 1, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, and move down each of the first or each of the zero uh, indexes of each list. Then it's going to loop back and switch to the next uh, x value and then move down and then move down and move down. That's why you do x on the outside because x is the list and y is what string is being iterated. But to print it in a nice format like this, we're going to have to set uh, as long if y is not equal to 8, because 8 will be the last one. We want to set end to be blank. That way, after each, because usually print, print functions will create a new line, using this means that it will print repeatedly with no new line and no spaces at the end. So then after this, we're going to go else. So that means anything going to the end, the last indice. Print, and we'll just do a normal print function, grid eight. And that's it. That's that's a whole program. It's it's a little bit hard to wrap your head around. When I was first trying to do this, uh, I was really confused because I thought that I had to select certain uh, like. I thought I had to select pieces and then print it. I did not get that we were trying to move down like this. I thought we we're going to have to select it going this way. So I was really confused at the start. This took me definitely a few hours until I noticed that it takes the first line of each list and then it was really quick. So if we try this, run module, print it exactly how it should come out. Perfect. So I will catch you guys in chapter five.